A political scandal is defined as an action or event regarded as morally or legally wrong and causing general public outrage. Politicians, government officials, party officials, lobbyists can be accused of various illegal, corrupt, or unethical practices. The following video depicts two of my utmost favorite political scandals, going in chronological order, starting with the Watergate scandal, followed by Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky scandal. Watergate took place the morning of June 17, 1972, as several burglars were arrested inside the office of the Democratic National Committee, located in the Watergate building in Washington, D.C. These burglars were connected to, the, to President Richard Nixon's re-election campaign. They were caught by NYPD while attempting to wiretap phones and steal secret documents. At, at this time and period, Nixon was staying as clear as possible from the topic avoiding any press dealing with such topic. Eventually, when asked, he gave the following statement. I can say categorically that this investigation indicates that no one on the White House staff, no one in this administration presently employed, was involved in this very bizarre incident. What really hurts in the matter of this sort is not the fact that they, be, that they occur, because ever jealous people in campaigns do things that are wrong. What really hurts is if you try to cover it up. He was doing excellent in keeping the scandal under wraps. However, he was giving off bizarre red flags that ultimately caused his impeachment. Nixon had accumulated hush money for the burglars on the side. He had attempted to stop the Federal Bureau of Investigation from investigating the crime. This was a more serious crime than the break-in. It was an abuse of presidential power and deliberate obstruction of justice. Nixon destroyed evidence, and he would and he would fire uncorroborated staff members. It later came to light that Nixon was not being truthful. Some of Nixon's allies, including the White House Concierge John Dean, testified before a grand jury about the president's crimes. They also testified that Nixon had secretly taped every conversation that took place in the Oval Office. If prosecutors could get their hand up on the tapes, they would have proofs of the, pres of the president's guilt. Nixon struggled to protect the tapes during the summer and fall of 1973. In July, the Supreme Court ordered Nixon to turn over the tapes. While the president dragged his feet, the House of Representatives voted to impeach him for the obstruction of justice, abuse of power, criminal cover-up, and several violations of the Constitution. Finally, 
On August 5th, Nixon released the tapes, which proved undeniable evidence of his complicity in the Watergate crimes. In the face of certain impeachment by the Senate, the president resigned on August 8th. His successor, Gerald Ford, immediately pardoned Nixon for all the crimes he had committed or may have committed. While in office, although Nixon was never prosecuted, the Watergate scandal changed American politics forever, leading many Americans to question their leadership and think more critically about the presidency. The second political scandal that I chose to cover is Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky scandal. Also known as the Lewinsky scandal was an American political sex scandal that involved 49-year-old married Bill Clinton and 22-year-old White House intern Monica Lewinsky. The sexual relationship took place between 1995 and 1996 and came to light in 1998, which surely followed the impeachment of the president. The scandal is very well explanatory. There was not a hidden agenda, just two human beings caught in lust over one another. However, he was the president and married at the time, which caused heavy turmoil. Mr. Clinton even took to television, publicly acknowledging the scandal, where his oh-so-famous line, I did not have sexual relations with that woman, came into play. Sadly, this scandal will forever o overshadow anything Bill Clinton did as president. And as for, and as for Monica Lewinsky, she faced public slander to the 10th degree.